my name is uh, Richard Changrai. Uh, my aspirations for Norton, I don't have aspirations at the moment in terms of ambi ambitions. But my main priority right now is to make sure we register as many young people as possible. So, you are the son of uh, former Prime Minister. Yeah. What was your relationship like? Well, my relationship with my father was was just like any relationship with a, uh, with an African parent. There was nothing special about it. Uh, rather than he was uh, a public figure, and that's all. But the relationship was, I was his son, he was my father, there was nothing more about that. Yeah. So far we've managed to register about 50 people, uh, young people, and we are planning to also uh, uh, to register more people. Uh, our target is about uh, 200 people. Um, yeah, our target is about 200 people so far. Your target is for 200 people for the constituency or for 200 people for one? Okay, right now we are only focusing not on only. So we are trying to register 200 people in this area, which is not on. That's what we are trying to, uh, to achieve at the moment. Yeah. So, you're going to tell us about your father. There are rumors that uh, you have aspirations for not one. Yeah. So, you're going to tell us about how maybe uh, your, your father's role in the mission of politics yeah. inspired you to move to your and being the son of a former prime minister. Yeah. Being more exactly. Oh, so. Let me just make this clear. Uh, I'm not in politics because of my father's legacy. I think I'm in politics because circumstances pushed me. Uh, not having a job pushed me to be in politics. Not having food on the table pushed me to, to be in politics. In politics. Uh, bad road networks pushed me to be in politics. I think uh, as far as my father, uh, of course, he played a, 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 a role in influencing me to be where I am right now. But I think my mother played a bigger role because um, I grew up with my mother. Uh, I was living with my mother. I think I started living with my dad when I was in, I think, my first year in university. I think that was 2013, I think. That's when I started living with my dad. So. Uh, my mother played a bigger role uh, in in shaping my life to be where it is right now. Well, um, would your mother be the inspiration? Uh, you've spoken about the circumstances pushing you into politics. Yes. But your mother. Yes. You've spoken about your mother. Yes. Mm. Would she? Would you say? Uh, you growing up with her, you being groomed by her, also fostered by a politically conscious person. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what's your question? Would we say you growing up with your mother would yeah. probably be where you got that political consciousness because you've spoken that, you've said that your father was not, you were not with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So would it then be the inspiration of your mother? Yes, of course. It's, uh, I would say my mother, it's, uh, she played a bigger role and uh, she inspired me to get into politics uh, of course my dad also played a, 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 a small role I would say uh, uh, for me to join politics but all the credit I give it to my mother I give it to my mother would we, would we have like examples of this is what she did or this is what she did uh, happened that then pushed me to politics oh so I would say, uh, because of the circumstances, I grew up in Norton, right? Uh, if, if, if you walk around, a lot of people, they, they are struggling. Uh, so, my mom wa wasn't... Uh, uh, she, was, she was part of that struggle, right? She was struggling as well to provide for me. Then, as a result, uh, she was the one who shaped me to be where I am right now, I would say. Um, what are the things that we would like, what, that 
the people of Toronto would want to see change, that you would, uh, as a person of rugby, would probably enable those things that they aspire to have. What are the things that they want to have? Mm. What are the things that you would be able to offer for like, to address the needs that they have? So, in Norton, we have uh, two major issues. So, one is economic, and another one is social. So, for the economic point of view, is we don't have jobs. A lot of people, we have a job crisis here. So, uh, how can we deal with that job crisis in here? We have to have a market economy which is driven by small businesses, right? We need to encourage people to get into business. We need to encourage um, um, people to, to get into entrepreneur, uh, get into businesses, right? Uh, what else? And and also we have to come up with, with programs to 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 help them finance their businesses. And second of all, we need to uh, provide them with knowledge on how to run a business. That's the only way we're gonna be able to deal with the job problem in Norton. And second of all, we have. Uh, uh, the issues of, 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 of social aspect of the, of, the, of, the, of the society. Number one, we have the issue of drugs. And remind you, these problems are emanating from economic inequalities. So we have to first deal with the issue of economy for us to deal with the problems of, uh, of the social part of the, of the, of the society. So anyway, how is the community taking you when they saw you growing up? Uh, now we are now in this age. They see you participating in this political event. Yeah. How are they accepting? How are they taking you into it? They're very supportive. The community, the community is very supportive. I mean, everyone here knows me. Uh, they saw me growing up. So I think they are very proud that one of us is taking charge of the situation on the ground. And also. Uh, when citizens punish for change, you, know, you were given a, a few minutes by, by his leader. Yes. At the Chamisa to give a word. How was it feeling like that? You know, a young boy who is below the age of 25 addressing the crowd of more than 25. <laughs> well, it's, 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 always, it's always good to, to be sharing a stage with someone like uh, our president. You know, uh, I would say I was, I, was, I was nervous at first, but I was happy at the same time. So it was a bitter and sweet moment for me. Where to from here? You are saying we are encouraging people to be able to vote. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to get the other side of the corner. Others, they are saying, uh, let's give him a chance to contest for, for the parliamentary seat. Both from, from, from maybe the party come from. Yeah. How do you check it? Well, it's, it's, it's always good that people are, are, are people believing you. It's always a, a good feeling. And I think uh, it's, it's if, 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 like our president said, the leadership is supposed to come from the people. So if you have people who are calling for you to lead, uh, it's a good feeling. And I'll definitely answer if there's a call for leadership. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, uh, Maybe a little background of yourself. Uh, what are you doing? So right now I'm a, I'm a real estate investor. I buy and sell houses uh, for living, and uh, uh, that's what I'm focusing right now. I'm a real, uh, real estate investor. I buy and sell houses everywhere. That's what I'm doing currently. Doing. Well, it's 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 difficult to be a real estate investor in this economy. Why? Because we have an unstable economy. So every business, every corner of business in this country, they are struggling because of the economy. We don't have a struggle, a stable uh, currency. Uh, people don't have jobs. So you find out those they have a tendency to affect your business so as far as uh, having a family uh, I don't have a family uh, I live with my mother uh, maybe next year I'm planning to get married 
if President Chamisa becomes president, open up doors for us and we have money to marry. So that's what I'm focusing on. <laughs> uh, can you take us the relationship between you, your brothers and your sisters? How is it been? Is it after the date of your father? The last time you spoke to him, what was the discussion? Well, our, our relationship with me and uh, Vincent uh, and uh, the other family members is, is... You see the problem with our family? I mean, sorry, the, the, the... I think our family, our father raised us to be tolerant, right? So I think we are able to, to converse beyond political boundaries. We talk, we love, and we don't talk about politics at all. Uh, a, a relationship, I would say, it's, it's perfect. Uh, we laugh at each other, we tolerate each other, we love each other as brothers and sisters. Right. Uh, to people who want to join politics, I would say, guys, let, let's let's participate in our in our in our in the aspect of our lives. You see, politics is not about issues of power. It's it's something that we have to. Uh, it's a bread and butter issues. So we have to uh, continue fighting for a better Zimbabwe. We have to encourage each other, mobilize each other to participate in the current affairs of this country. So. Uh, I think in my last word I'll say let's register to vote and let's participate in politics. Uh, thank you. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.